Peace, peace, family. So I'm back with another one. So today what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk to my chosen ones about how beings and other entities around you will misconstrue your passion for anger. You know, for some reason, like the way this Western world society is set, it's almost as if you can bake a cake with one ingredient. That's the way I have to look at these words. Words are spells and spells are real, you know? So you can speak life into somebody, you can speak death into somebody, vice versa with yourself. You can speak life into yourself, you can speak death into yourself, you know? So, or should I say illness? But I realize in today's society and then just meditating on a lot of my interactions just throughout my life, um, when I pinpoint certain things in my life and I go back to reflect on it just to kind of get some more insight or information, it helps me realize that a lot of these big one words that we use, kind of like love, passion, um, it's other words out there. I'll just stick with those two, for example, so I don't get too scrambled, right? These are two big words that come with ingredients a mixture of different energies in motion you know when you think about love we understand the ones that's vibrating up here understand that it's a frequency you know it's not something that you give and then you take away you know it's a frequency you vibrate up there and it's just love spewing out of you so giving is natural you know and and not allowing people to abuse you doesn't have anything to do with like overly letting somebody do something to you. Blah, blah, blah. But it's the same thing with passion because right now in today's age, we have a lot of people and a lot of beings that's passionate about this spiritual war, that's passionate about change, that's passionate about changing their life, that's passionate about helping others change their life, you know, to get this thing moving in a more natural flow. But what happens is, for some reason, there is a perception put out there that I guess passion is, when you think of passion, is more so like, like a, uh, you think of something more soft spoken, you know, something that's more like devoted. But you don't think of something that may have all of these different energies mixed together all your energies emotions so you may have a little bit of frustration mixed in there with your passion you may have a little bit of happiness and sadness mixed in there with your passion you know what i'm saying because you don't get to your passion without having the full recipe you have to have the full recipe so uh, being in this space now and i haven't had any situations recently but i just like to do a lot of reflecting but I, I realize, like, sometimes when I communicate outwardly about certain subjects um, with certain entities, it doesn't matter if it's an opposition or somebody that's just a sheep or in the middle, you know what I'm saying? But it would almost be as if they hear a certain tone and they automatically replace that tone with anger. And I've watched some other podcasts and seen other people engage, and when people are speaking passionately about something that they love that you they, this is the only way they can express how much they 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 feel what they're saying and how passionate they are about it from the inside meaning that they live it they live it that's that's what we're supposed to be naturally doing is reflecting our inward outwardly but it's so much witchy shit out here that you gotta fucking second guess and question everything out here but a lot of times people get anger mixed up as if that is okay there is no way you can be passionate and be have anger as an ingredient mixed in there yes there is because anger is an energy in motion you know that's just what we name it but it's one of our most powerful energies that almost make us want to react or do something right away you know what I'm saying? So that's something that we all have and we should never ever get rid of or remove. You just learn how to manage and control it. But when we dive in in this spiritual war and we're being passionate, 
about these subjects that we're talking about or about these ideas that we're building on or about this work that we're actually putting in. You know what I'm saying? You don't take in the word spell of the other person that may be looking at it as if you're angry. And even if you feel a little aroused in the inside, but you know you have good intentions and you know it's more so of a passionate thing, just try to do some, you know, a quick self-reflect check, you know, just like a quick three to five second, just a breathe in, solar plex chakra, your heart chakra, your throat chakra. Just get it all lined really fast, as fast as you possibly can, you know what I'm saying? It's okay to have that energy and motion. That's like telling somebody don't use their anger. Actually, when you use your anger in that manner, you're actually using it for a healthy recipe, to be honest. Like, you know how you can fix some things and it can be really shitty, bad, poisonous, and then you can flip it on the other side. It's kind of like, look at it like, uh, like meat. You know what I'm saying? If somebody take a living organism, like, of course, you can eat it this way raw, it might hurt your body, but if you cook it, it'll be a little bit more healthier for your body to digest and intake. You know what I'm saying? That's a much healthier manner of using it opposed from the other way, but whatever works, you know what I'm saying? But as far as the passionate, that's an example. You know what I'm saying? You got the anger over here, which you can use for extremely destructive things. And then on the other hand, you can mix it with something cut it up put it in something and send it out in a helpful healthy package you know what i'm saying and i think it's like important that we learn how to stand firmly in the universal natural flow of life truth you know what i'm saying and it's not your job to force somebody to believe that you don't have ill intentions you know what i'm saying you're gonna be able to tell by the fruits. If not, then I'm just gonna assume you're a witchy witch and you're a shitty being at reading energy, you know? Or you're just a sheep and don't care for reading energy, you know? It's just, even though everything is energy, you know? It's, it's so weird. Everything is fucking energy. Everything has an energy base to it, you know? So, when we are passionate, and a lot of us are using our passion, whether you using it for sports, cooking, you know, some kind of hands and art craft, some kind of, you know, talking points, you know, you have to understand that 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 passion and when you feel that energy bubbling up in the middle of engaging, whether somebody telling you about your food not being that great that you cooked and or, or a certain way that they wanted it and you did it the way that they wanted but they're still complaining about it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's numerous examples. These are just quick ones that I could think of off the spot. You can replace it with your own examples. But I, don't, I had to get to a place where I, I had to grow comfortable in my decision making. And I knew in my heart and my spirit that I wasn't running around doing shit with ill intentions. Even though I have done some shit ill intended towards people. But in my world, it was a reaction. So it was something that I had to do. Like it was like a justice seeking thing. Like I didn't have no other choice. I never was the one to run around and just start shit with people, but I finish it, you know? So that's the only difference with me. I always believe in leading wholeheartedly, genuinely. You know, a lot of people say, oh, you start off not trusting, start off not trusting. No, what I do is I start off giving you my trust about 60 to 70 percent of it you got a high percentage you know you don't get all of it 60 70 is fucking pretty high but you can move up from there but what usually happens is people bump down when you put that much trust in somebody they're usually going to show you what side of the fence they're on it'll save you a whole lot of time so that's what i usually do i rather just get that brood out the way immediately so i don't have to dibble dabble in my spirit word about them thoughts it is fucking cooking out here but goes to say that I'm passionate about this shit. You know, I'm outside all the time with this content. I could be inside. I got my tapestry. I got all that shit. I wouldn't have to deal with people walking past and in and out my videos and or, or having to deal with all these other mixed energies. But the thing is with me, it's like there is no avoiding it or ducking it. So it didn't matter if I film inside. 
I'm gonna have to go outside eventually, you know? So with me understanding that, I'm just gonna do this the way I'm doing it now, continue to be outside, cause I'm outside already anyways. I love doing this shit. So when people communicate with me about these kind of subjects now, now it makes it more subtle for me to communicate and not be as passionate about the subjects. I'm still extremely passionate, but I can read energy. So I know if I'm being too passionate about my subjects or about a topic, more so now what I do is I let, I kind of let the other person lead the, the conversation and then I'll kind of maneuver it around depending on the questions or the statements being placed out there. You know what I'm saying? A wise man can play a fool, but a fool cannot play a wise man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want to run it up too long. Tapping everything down below. Peace and love to the kings and queens. Mm -hmm.